Okay, folks, welcome back. I am doing a, a mic check since the last video, one of the cameras was quiet. So this is the uh, Z50, an APS-C DX style camera. Uh, it's smaller than a full frame, but look how clear it is. And this is uh, the 20 millimeter F1.8 primes on this camera. It's a full frame lens on a smaller uh, frame camera. And uh, anyway, look how clear she is. I just heard my cat come into the house with the doggy door. So anyway, this one's looking good. The volume is looking good. I'm using an XLR microphone. I'm going to the next one. My ZFC, and you notice I'm out of the picture. So I have to do something like this. Bring me in. There we go. I'm more centered. This one has the 26 millimeter f2.8. It's a pancake lens. Sharp too, isn't it? So with crop sensor cameras, they bring you about one and a half times closer. Uh, they have a less wide field of view, but uh, there are smaller cameras. Uh, the lenses are cheaper, but they do not let a lot of light in. So as it gets closer to dark, it's, you'll start seeing some noise, little kind of like, uh, like the old TV sets. You see a lot of the white dots and stuff against the back um, background. So anyway, uh, looks like the volume is working on here. So last test is my Streamer X. And this setup is a little box where it can do different sounds. Microphone, headphone, um, I can disable the uh, video, I can disable, turn off the mic uh, through this little box that's connected to my computer. So this one is the DX12 to 28 uh, millimeter at 28 millimeters. And you see uh, the color just a little bit different because of the lighting. If I do it on... Um, just like that, it's, I look plain, okay? If I go to another camera, see, she looks fine. It's set to normal. This camera has a little difference where it brightness is at 15 and the saturation is at a minus five, something like that. So if I go to this camera, Streamer X, if I do the saturation of minus five, and then, uh, what is it? The brightness down a little bit, temperature a little bit up, and uh, the tint. That looks pretty good. Then of course the gamma. See, it looks, a lot better now, doesn't it? And if you notice, my uh, door is white. If you notice on my uh, Studio 64, it looked kind of yellow. No, it was on the Canon that made it look yellow. So that is the white you're supposed to be seeing. This is uh, kind of like a more of a um, antique white, which is more yellow, okay? That door is white. So the colors that you're seeing are the actual colors. So if you notice, I have did the settings on this one on the Streamer X. Everything looks good. And if I put it on rotating cameras, all right, what I did on one settings will do the same one on the other. So here's my rotating camera for uh, my puppy Wanda. Well, I still call her a puppy. But uh, 
She's about seven years old. Getting a little overweight, gonna have to walk her around. Here's my ZFC. So you see, the color tone looks a little bit different with a different lens and different lighting. I like this kind of look, it, it's okay. Um, the only thing is, um, let's just pause this for right now. If I do the screen to zero, yeah, that looks pretty good right now. And then I can bring it up. And then I can move just a little bit like this. So you see, with the program that I bought, $400 a year, Ecamm Live Pro, uh, you can do many things. You can add text, you can have the time, you can pause it. I can uh, bring this up a little bit. So you can see my road mic upside down, but I don't want to take it apart to fix it. I got everything working, so I don't care what it, what it shows. there lock that down okay this is my fourth studio that I've shown oh, let's see I show the Mac show the studio 64 showed you the uh, Sony studio now this is the uh, studio 32 which is all small frame cameras uh, or on the APSC Nikon cameras so there you go I'm going to get a, another camera on Wednesday, which is a full crank frame Nikon. And I'll probably change out one camera. Or I might just add another one, make it five cameras on my Studio 64. Haven't decided yet. But uh, as you can see, you can add multiple cameras to each studio. You don't see any stuttering. The picture quality is fantastic, and um, you, you just uh, work with the uh, integration of software, uploading videos, um, and I still got it on pause. So let me just play the timer. Okay, so now it's counting down, and it should be going to the Streamer X. And there you go, there's the Streamer X. Uh, the nice thing I can show you is I'm trying to show you something with text on it. Um, the way I have the camera set up, okay? So you can read this, right? Small rig, okay? Big dream. This is Wanda, you can see her counting down. So the picture quality, you can increase it a lot more. There's a clear shot of her. So if you have everything looking good, the sound is working, the setup is good. Uh, by the way, I have not updated my operating system on this computer yet. Reason why is I've had two problems, actually three problems on each computer. So my part seven, because this is part eight, it messed with the mic on my A7C, which worked perfectly before. So somehow that became mute. So I have to go back in there and fix that. But uh, anyway, And uh, I'm looking at my screen. So just to show you on this one, you read this perfectly, okay? Uh, so I have kind of like on a, a mirror effect where it turns around uh, where you can read the English 
And that way, if I raise up my left hand, it'll be um, like if I'm looking at a mirror. So anyway, let's do a little share just to show you how the software works. And I think that's it. Yeah. So you see me in the corner. Okay. So let's uh, open up some software. You can see me going down there. I'm going to open up Chrome. There you go. I'll enlarge it. It's a full screen. And this is a 4K uh, TV, 55 inch. I'm going to my YouTube channel. And then, uh, let's see. Okay, now I got the verification on. So I turn on my Wi-Fi, go to my Gmail, and I say, is this you? Yes, it's me. You can see the monitor. Now I'm at my YouTube channel. And I just got to uh, try the ZFC worry-free. Well... Folks, <laughs> I already have two ZFCs, and I gave one to uh, my buddy Peter. So it, it's funny. Uh, I, I just bought the uh, ZF, okay? And I'm waiting for it to come on Wednesday. I sent uh, a message to uh, my local camera store because they had one available on their website, but they couldn't release it until October, at the end of October. I already have one. I had another one on order for Radorama, but they say it's back order, so I might cancel that. If I get this camera, I'll cancel the other one. And that's all I need is just one camera. But you put up multiple choices where to pick it up if you want it now. Or you can wait six months until they become in stock and then you can buy the camera. So here I am. I'm showing you my um, channel dashboard. And uh, I have one through seven now up. And I got to redo this one right here. So I messed up in the, uh, setting up for YouTube. And then uh, I have to add the... Um, Wait a minute. Studio gear? Yeah, let's go back. Yeah, studio gear. Okay, so I forgot to put that in. So now I go right here after the comma. Click that. Yep, that's it. And now I save it. So there's my content. I can go onto my channel. And I have, uh, that's my name. That's how you look at my YouTube channel. Or you just type in that. and Or take me here. Or take you here. And then uh, I have only 301, but I've done 1,300 videos, or over 1,300. So I have different playlists. Here's the videos that I've done recently. And, you know, you just scroll down and have at it, one right after the other. Isn't that something? I do a lot of stuff. 
I have like three live, but I'm gonna be doing more live streaming shortly. Playlists. These are all the different uh, subcategories I have for my YouTube channel, okay? Uh, community, I haven't posted anything up there yet. There's the, um, that's if I add any extra features that I like watching. Uh, usually I don't. And then it's about me. I joined July 13th, 2014. I have about uh, 197,000 views on my videos. And uh, anyway, go back to home. There's my YouTube channel. If I click on home here, this will take me directly to YouTube. And then you have a notification bell right here of your favorites. Also the fact that if you go down here to, let's say I'm going to do one of mine. Okay, so if I go to digital cameras, you notice that I am not listed up here. I only have 300 views. So if there's a notification bell, you'll probably get the notification, hey, I, I just did a video, come and see me. But if you look at it, they put the more favorite ones, 49,000 views, 65,000 views, 912 views, you know, on uh, different cameras or different channels or YouTubers, I should say. Their name is content creators. But it's just to show you that there's a lot of people that talk about a lot of stuff that I'm interested in. So that's, I can go to news. You can click on live, you know, for live streaming. Some people do games. A lot of the news with the uh, Israeli Gaza war. Um, some about the government. Some about vehicles, what they like. You can go to entertainment. You can go to military vehicles. Talk about computers. Mixes, like uh, different things I like viewing. Music. Podcasts. All right. So usually uh, they put the ones that you're interested in most. Test drives, you know, on vehicles. So you have a, a lot of content you can view on YouTube. Astrophysics, History Channel, iPhones, Kittens, Sci-Fi Films, Audio Equipment, Pop Music, Recently Updated. Okay, so these are the latest uh, videos. And if you scroll to the white, I can do watched. So these are the ones that I've watched. Somehow I didn't watch all of that. But, uh, you know, it keeps a history of what you've been doing. New to you. Okay. Brand new full productions of the... Nikon ZF unboxing. I'll probably watch that. So anyhow, you go up here, take it out of full mode, go there, and uh, now I'll go back to rotating cameras. And there you go. She's sleeping. She's not snoring. But she's comfortable. 
Uh, one thing I do want to stress is when you have a lot of TV or computers on in a small room, it gets warm in here. So you may have some overheating uh, issues with the camera. So anyway, this is uh, part eight. I'm just showing off uh, the studio gear, uh, how you can uh, interact with uh, people through this uh, uh, stuff. I can do a live stream from here and you can communicate with me directly. But the way I set up the live streaming is for uh, uh, subscribers only. So it'll notify the public, but in order to write a comment, you have to subscribe. And then I also have it where you make a comment, you have to wait 30 seconds to write another comment. Um, that way someone doesn't take over trying to kind of take control over the comments saying, hey, answer my question, answer my question. So I delay that purpose also. You have full control and then also you have uh, a bad word list where some of these um, scammers or even the uh, where they try to put links and stuff on your comments. Well, I disable those. So you disable that, you disable where they have to be a subscriber to put on uh, any comment. So a lot of these uh, porn sites, whatever, they try to put stuff there or they try to say bad words, they can't because I got those blocked. So I'll give them the option to redo it. If they don't, uh, then it won't be posted. Um, if there's an individual that shows any hate or anything like that, I don't think YouTube has a feature for it, but I do have a feature where I can put them on timeout for 30 seconds. Or if I can just um, uh, ban them. That way, any content that I have, I think they can view it, but they just can't make a comment anywhere. Uh, not even when they see a video that's been reposted live. You know, if I did a live show and they, they can't even write in the comments down there. That's a nice thing about it. Also, I can put it as um, for children, and that way there's no comments. So, you know, people have done that too. That way, um, if they like the video, they give it a like or a dislike, whatever. And then they have to give a reason why they dislike it or something like that. But uh, anyway, it's just some fail safes, some things to look forward to when you do a YouTube content. Uh, I hope this is helpful to you. I am showing off a lot of gear. Um, basically, uh, I, I just got a lot of stuff, okay? All you need is one camera or you just use your laptop with the right software. You can use OBS, which is free. Just use the webcam on your laptop or you do a Zoom call with either um, a webcam or one built in your laptop or with your computer. And uh, like on the IMAX, they have one built in. Laptops, they have it built in. Uh, you can go to Best Buy or other stores or off the internet. You can plug it into your monitor and plug it into any computer. Uh, they do now have uh, USB-C output for webcamming since the... Um, um, since 2020, when COVID hit, um, you can just do kind of like a Zoom call or a webcam feature through the USB-C. The picture quality is um, worse. It's not crystal clear as you see right now. This is through the HDMI port with the Gato uh, Cam Link 4K. USB on one side, USB-A, uh, which is a USB 3, and then uh, HDMI on the other end. 
And so now this is for 4K. You can see things in 4K. I'll show you real quick. So, when I get my um, camera, this is the cam link. This is hooked up to the USB extension. All right. So, a female, male, and uh, HDMI on the outside. There we go. <laughs> and it's the uh, Elgato cam link. And. I'll hook that up to my uh, camera, and I'll probably hook it up to my laptop. Show off, uh, that'll be my part nine for a studio setup. cameras. I'm just going to go up here to my ZFC. All right. So on the cameras that I have with uh, just uh, a tilt screen that doesn't go up like the A6100, 6100 on the camera, tilt screen, like let's say this is a camera, tilt screen can go up here and I can view myself. That's the old type of cameras. Now they got the flippy out screen where the screen comes out and then you can view it yourself on the side. But with the older cameras, which have a tilt screen, which are basically photogenic. Oh, do it this way. So this mounts on a hot shoe, okay? What happens is, if you look at here, it's a mirror right here at an angle. So the tilt screen is facing like this. It projects the image to, to the mirror, and then I can view it right here. So for an example, you can see the box. So you get little gadgets like this, like 10 bucks, 12 bucks, 15 bucks, whatever. You can find different ways of getting your cameras working, you know, for your uh, studio setup. Um, also, uh, for a rear camera view, you know, like the mirror, if I turn off the mirror, so you see, this is basically what I'm viewing. But if I turn it off and uh, do what the camera does, Oh, I have to unlock it. Okay, now watch. Okay, it's totally opposite. My left hand's over here <laughs> on, on this side, okay? If I'm looking at the camera, that's my left hand. I'm looking, and that's my right hand. But on Ecamm, it looks different. And then when I put up this, it's backwards. Okay. No, nope, you can read it. All right. But if I put it on mirror again, watch what happens. Okay. This is what I'm actually seeing. I'm more comfortable like this because my right hand, my left hand. There's only one problem. It's backwards, the writing, okay? So if I uh, unclick the mirror, now we can read it, okay? There is a mirror function in the camera. So I think, I don't think I have that turned on or off. I can't remember, okay? Just to show you, hey, my right hand, this is my right hand, it's not my left hand. But if you put yourself where I am, 
And if you're sitting like this, oh yeah, this is my right hand, even if it shows on the left, this is my left hand, okay? And if I go to lock this up, and I go into my, uh, let's say, uh, Streamer X, it doesn't matter on the puppy, on the puppy one, She's sleeping. She's an animal. She doesn't read. <laughs> she eats, though. Okay. So here's my streamer X. Okay. And I have a little banner at the bottom. And what I can do is also um, fix it. And let me put it on. Um, let's see. Options. Live demo mode. Okay, so you see the white is kind of hard to read, but if I go over here, all right, I'm going to edit the text, and I'm going to change the color. So text color, I'm going to make it black. See, see what happens. So you see, you can't see it right there. All right. But you can now see it. But watch what happens when I do this. Help out. Do edit again. And uh, let's see. Background. I'm going to give a color. And edit text. Text color. Uh, oh, and a background. Yeah, that'll be good. Save it. And hopefully, it has, no, it didn't do it. Okay, I did it wrong. So let's see. background there you go I could do it like this or I could change the color eh, eh. there you go so here's yellow here's red here's purple orange magneta Green, cyan, brown, black, or blue, black. All right. Or I can do uh, color again. So I can edit text. And then it takes color. I can make it, um, what is it? White. Save. There you go. I can also change this. So let's see, scrolling ticker. I can do um, dynamic. All right. And I'm going to unlock it because if I don't unlock it, then I can't move it. So there's the streamer X. I can put it up here if I wanted to. And if I move it, you see, there's a little bar that it's centered between here and there or something like that. Okay, I, I can put it down here. I can put it down here. And there you see. Different things you can do with it. Make it look good, presentable. I can put it like 
up here also. And you notice I can make it bigger, smaller. Um, I can put it uh, right here. I can put it right here. <laughs> I can put it up here. I can put it down here too. Or I can put it in the corner. There you go. That looks pretty good, doesn't it? So that, it's just showing you how you can set up different things with your uh, software that you use. I showed you how to get on the internet. And uh, you do a right mouse click, and then you just quit. And there you have it. So anyway, I hope you enjoy watching the process. Uh, this should end it. My part eight, this is part eight, by the way. So my part nine would be with the new camera, and I'm going to hook that up to my laptop, show you how to do it step by step. So anyway, let me take it out of live option, or live demo mode, I should say. Now it's full screen with her. Now you see me with the Nikon ZFC. I hope my voice quality is excellent. Um, if you like this type of content, please give me a like, subscribe. Any questions or comments, put it down in the comment section below. Thank you for watching. And uh, remember, stay safe, keep smiling. Until next time, I shall see you then. Goodbye, folks. Last but not least, the other ZFC, but on a streamer X. Now I gotta see the closing. There we go.